Once again, the most trusted voices in national news, lead anchors Ron Burgundy and Veronica Corningstone Burgundy. Welcome back to World News Center. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Veronica Corningstone Burgundy. We have a very special guest joining us in the studio today. Veronica, would you care to do the honors? Sure, Ron. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest needs very little introduction. He's the owner of many fine magazines and newspapers, and did I mention he owns World News Center as well? He was nice enough to take time out of his very busy schedule to stop by the studio today. Mr. Ted Murdoch. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Murdoch. Mr. Murdoch, how do you do? <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. Uh, today, June 17, 1994, is a day that we will all remember for the rest of our lives. Not because of a war, not because of a mass murderer, and not because of any of my many successful businesses are being investigated uh, by the feds. No. Today will go down in the history books as the final day of two-story broadcast careers. As most of you know, uh, lovely Veronica Corningstone Burgundy and incomparable Ron Burgundy have decided to retire and move on to greener pastures. They have spent 19 years here with us at WNC, and I wanted to come here and personally thank you and tell you that you will be missed not only by myself, uh, also by your team at WNC, and finally by the entire world. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Murdoch. Yeah. You're too kind, You're sir. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I feel there is nothing I can do to repay you for the years of service you have given to this company. But as a small token of appreciation, I do have a little surprise for you, too. <laughs> Mr. Murdoch, you didn't have to. Is it scotch? <laughs> <laughs> what? I know he has a very nice collection of scotch. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny, Ron. Not quite. Uh, as many of you know, Ron and Veronica got their start at KVWN Channel 4 in San Diego. This is where they both first became lead anchors. This is where they fell in love. This is where Ron announced to the greater San Diego area that he had slept with Veronica within a couple of weeks of her working here. Uh, we here at WNC can only hope that you form bonds with us as strongly as you did with your news team in San Diego. But when it comes down to it, you never want to forget where you came from. That's why on the final segment of your broadcast careers, I brought in the old news team from KVWN, Brian Fontana, Champ Kai, and Rick Tamlin. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, <laughs> it's oh, good wow. to see you. Wow. Hey, guys. There you go. All right. There's a high-pressure system coming in onto the north of here. Rick, you're not doing the weather right now. Have a seat. Well, just look at this. News team assembled. I have to say there was nothing like this group back in our heyday. Yep, it was something. So, Brian, I hear you've been holding down the fort back at KVWN. Yeah, you two had big shoes to fill. But I hope I've been doing KVWN justice as their lead anchor. And, Champ, I hear you recently got a new job. Yes, I did, Tits McGee. I was recently brought in to be a commentator for the NFL Women. Well, congratulations, Champ. And the best part of it is, I'll be rubbing legs with my commentary partner, Terry Bradshaw. Don't you mean rubbing shoulders? Well, well, that's what I said. Well, Brick, what have you been up to? After years of wandering, I think I finally found my calling. I've recently been brought on as advisor to an up-and-coming political figure. You found your calling as a political advisor. Uh, yeah. Well, Brick. Who would hire you to give them political advice? At the moment, I'm not allowed to say, but let's just say he's currently running for the governor of the state of Texas and is the son of the former president of the United States of America. Well, it has been so nice to see you guys again. Yes. Yes, it has. And I'm beyond afternoon delighted that you are all here for this special occasion. I do have a few words I would like to say in our last few minutes on air. As many of you know, I have few passions in life. Good scotch. My dog Baxter, who passed away a few years back but has since been cryogenically frozen until we find a way to bring him back to life. And 
telling the news as a lead anchor. For years, I thought I had it all. That was until the day the lovely Mrs. Veronica Burgundy, Corningstone Burgundy, whatever, came into my life. Since then, we've shared everything. Our lives, our home. We once shared our hairdresser, Anita, and a threesome in the back of a news van. Ron! I know we've had some good times. Stop interrupting me. But for the last two decades, I've had the ability to tell the news to the world with the love of my life by my side. And let me tell you, life doesn't get any better than that. So for my beautiful wife, Veronica Burgundy. Corning Stone And for Burgundy. everyone here at the World News Center. For the last time, you stay classy. You, what? You stay classy. Run. No. What? Run. Pull the story. No. Run. I'm almost done here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, no. we have breaking news at WNC. It appears that a white Ford Bronco is involved in a low-speed car chase, and it's believed that O.J. Simpson is in that Bronco. <laughs> No! No! This is my day, not OJ's! Uh, details of the situation are still coming into our newsroom, but as of right now, it appears that OJ Simpson is on the run from the LAPD. This is an amazing last story for us. Do you have anything you care to add, Ron? I hope they shoot him! Okay, well, uh, champ, you've covered sports for a long time and you're now involved with the NFL. Is there anything you'd care to add? Well, I, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless at the moment. I, I don't think anybody expected this. I, I wonder what Terry Bradshaw thinks about this. I better give him a call. Well, uh, I, I guess that about wraps it up for us here. Ron, any final words? Yeah. You stay classy, planet Earth. And you go fuck yourself, O.J. Simpson. Audrey, Thank make you up. for your years Audrey. of support, everyone. Look at these bags. Stay tuned for ongoing coverage of the O.J. Simpson chase. Thank you, Veronica. And Ron, for your years of uncompromised news coverage, you will be missed. Moving on now for the latest on the O.J. Simpson chase that is gripping the country. This will surely be a day that none of us will ever forget as former NFL star O.J. Simpson is involved in... By the beard of Zeus, this is my day, my, my, not yours, O.J. No, you're on television no, for God's bad sake. O.J., no, he didn't even what, win what, a what, Super Bowl. We'll be, we'll be, we'll no, I'm back. telling you, we'll, this, we'll, is, we'll, this is about we'll, me. What are you We'll be right back. Me? Why are we'll you be right back after this these messages. Me. This is about me. <laughs> Well, Brick, what have you been up to? Oh, after years of wondering, I finally found my calling. As most of you know, the lovely Veronica according to Stone Burgundy, and uh, we have a problem, Houston. On the teleprompter, it says, my. Is my hair anything crazy sticking out of it like it did last time? No. Uh, we here at WNC can only hope uh, that, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> can only hope that uh, I lost the line. It's okay. Uh, can only hope that you form bonds with us.